Hello, it is May 19th, 2019, and this update comes to you from Bainbridge Island, Eagle Harbor. Uh, we've got the boat over here for uh, a week or two, just hanging out while I've got some time off, and it makes for a very short commute for Amy, about three minutes uh, worth of skiff ride. But uh, I just want to show you a quick shop update of some organizing I've been doing to make sure that everything stays in its place when we get underway. So I've done a lot of cool things with magnets lately. Um, one thing for uh, the 3D printer, I've got the uh, the hairspray here, which is always important for the, for the bed adhesion. But you can see all those little magnets, those just uh, hold this guy right in place so he doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I also got all my end mills uh, in a nice little teak fixture there. And then I've got my little clampy doos for doing my soldering work and got a nice little uh, screw holding this guy down. So that's not going anywhere. So the hot stuff stays where it's supposed to be. And then I can do the solder work with these guys. I've got all my books in the back, references and such. And then I've got this magnetic bar, which is uh, made in China, but I did buy it from Hardwick's uh, hardware. So, you know, supporting the, the local community as best I can. And that holds all my, my high volume or uh, high frequency use tools uh, in that spot. So uh, nice little straight razor blade. I put a magnet on the back of this uh, wire brush because I use that a lot. These guys I use almost all the time, just the, the angle cutters. And then I've got all these little tiny shaller bin type things back there. Uh, I'm starting to work in some other smaller things, uh, getting stuff moved in. I've got Farrah Fawcett there uh, from a friend. I don't know why I've got that, but had to put it somewhere. Uh, you'll see that there's pins here. Uh, they're actually just uh, screws, uh, stainless ones, that keep the laptop locked in place. You can still lift it up, um, but it holds it in place there. And then I've kind of shadow boarded everything. So, uh, yeah, you can see, like, hey, there's Fat Max box cutter if he's gone. And uh, Sharpie number one, Sharpie number two, mechanical pencils, digital calipers, all the stuff I use all the time. Uh, this guy I use all the time, uh, a little butane torch. Uh, you can see here in my grip lock. Uh, toolbox, which is something Craftsman makes, that uh, if I want to get to my heat shrink, uh, that's right in there. And then I've got this guy. What I did is put a little uh, name tag backer plate. Uh, so when we worked for Uncruise, we had a ton of crew members who would just take off at the end of the season and uh, leave their name tags. So I took off at least all the magnetic backs and fastened those and then like a little stopper here to uh, adjust the, the tripod trim of it. Then I, I oriented it in the orientation that I wanted because right over here is where I turn off the switch for the shop lights. So I want to be able to get in and out of there without uh, this thing interfering much, but I wanted it in this particular spot. So. So that's there. I uh, got the map torches and the spare butane. I reoriented my stock boxes so you can see down the length of them instead of like this. Because when you'd have a big piece like this, you couldn't see what was behind it. Uh, also went and got a little magnetic uh, cup holder, same style that I use here for holding my stainless and brass fasteners. Um, things I just tend to get to a lot working on the boat. Uh, but by putting this guy up here, he keeps my uh, three in one or whatever cutting oil I'm going to use just right where I need it because it's going to be right here on the drill press or right here on the lathe. Um, also got this little magnetic sh shop light there. Um, yeah, I don't know, it just makes for uh, extra light if you need it. Um, let's see what else we got here. Shadow boarding everywhere. Everything must have its place. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with the stereo microscope here, but it it's a, t a pretty good locked in home there between the tailstock and the, uh, the carriage. So there's that, and then I got my little settling torch, and then all the, the raw materials and such, uh, a rag box uh, for that stuff. And then I'm trying to get this whole bed eventually cleared off of all my stuff so that when friends come over, they can actually stay on the boat and have a cabin. And I'm gonna get a, a you know a couple inch mattress top around here um, for that, and then uh, yeah, hopefully make it a, a more usable bed um, than what I've got. And of course you can see the, the, the belt sander underneath there. And then, uh, you know, just all the micrometers, uh, fixturing tools. Um, so this is kind of like lathe and mill stuff. I don't have a mill on board currently, but I'm looking to get a, uh, a small CNC desktop mill that's enclosed. Um, either like a Denford uh, kind of 
desktop knee mill style, um, or I'll go with one of two CNC machines um, that are both kind of stupid expensive. One is uh, the Carbide 3D Nomad 883 Pro, and the more exotic one that I really like is the Evo 1 out of Italy. Uh, it's got a much uh, bigger work area, and uh, yeah, ball screws and precision grind linear ways on all axes. Um, so no belt drives, no lead screws, uh, just straight up gangster. Anyway, so if I got that machine, it would probably live over here, and then when people come over, we would just go hide it in the shower, or maybe I would put baby in a corner here. I don't know. Anywho, um, that's uh, that's the shop. So I got to get back to some actual projects because uh, we got some friends coming over, and I got to clean up the rest of the boat because it's a mess. All right. Peace, yo.